do you want to know how to live stream on Gorilla Tag, Red Room, and just on the whole VR? Well, I'll show you, and it's actually quite simple. Okay, so there are some requirements that you need to have. I don't know about the phone way, but I'm pretty sure you can use your phone. But what I'll guarantee using is either a laptop, computer, anything like that. And also, you need a VR. And that's practically all you need. You don't need any extension cord, and you don't need like any cord. You don't need Steam. You don't need anything like that. All you need is like an Oculus or any kind of VR to do this. So first, you want to go to like your computer slash laptop and go to like the desktop. Desktop, mine's a little like goofy because it's just my YouTube stuff. Anyways, you want to get download this app called OBS Studio. You want to download this app so it's streaming and stuff like that. You also gotta just like open up a random t thing and get the uh, YouTube. You want to go to YouTube too. So first, once you go to, you gotta download OBS, sign in, get all your YouTube stuff in there. But once you get in, so once you get in, it'll probably like it'll probably have nothing here. Like I'll just show you an example. Like it'll probably look like this. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm probably not gonna show you anything like this. If you guys wanna like find out how to get more of this stuff, I'll probably make a different video about it. But it'll probably just look like this right now. So what you wanna do is you probably wanna make a game audio. So you just wanna go to this plus sign, click on uh, audio output capture, add the name of whatever you want, like game audio. I don't spell that wrong. I don't really care. Um, you make it that that basically makes it so that anything you put down on the oculus or the um, computer will basically project that onto obs once you sign into obs and stuff like that you want to just open up a random um just go to a random like place or website and then type in the code oculus oculus dot com slash casting go there sign in all that kind of stuff you need to do sign in probably like right here then you'll be right here this part we'll work on a little later, but this part's basically when you want to connect your Oculus to the computer. So let's just get back to this later. Okay, so then once you get in uh, YouTube, you want to go over to this create button, click create, then click go live. Then I'll show you all this stuff like the stream key. I'm gonna have this blurred out because this is like my personal information. Well, not personal information, but like my YouTube stuff. So yeah, just like keep that a secret from other people. Um, basically, what you need to do is I'm pretty sure you're gonna insert like the stream URL or like the um back like the some of the stuff over here. And you wanna go to OBS and then basically input it. So you wanna go to settings. You wanna go to then you wanna go to stream. Then you wanna put YouTube. Um, this stuff right here. Then you want to like put, use the stream key if you want to or just connect your account to it. Click up, apply and then OK. And then, yeah, also how to get this is you want to like get um, here, click the plus sign and click window capture. Do whatever you want. It basically makes it so that anything behind here, like for example, you click here, do anything you need right here. I'll do like personal like this thing because that's where the Oculus thing is. And that's how like you can project the stuff. And then after that, once you're connected to like this um, stuff on this is practically all you need to do on OBS. So then you want to connect your um, YouTube stuff and then customize it. Customize it practically anything you need to. Like edit, like make a title, description. Make sure it's on public and what kind of game you're playing, like Gorilla Tag. So like it can prove what like, the audience is. Like make a little thumbnail or something, save it. Um, then you want to go back to OBS, make sure this thing's on and go back to OBS. Now, this is the part I want to go on to the Oculus. Go back onto the Oculus. Okay, so you're back in Gorilla Tag, and practically, like, the camera mod won't work, or, like, Gorilla Tag hasn't added anything for this yet, so it won't do much right here. But basically, you want to start, with, like, uh, then you want to, like, click on the Oculus button. shows this little stuff right here. Then, you want to click over... If you want to, like, put a chat up, I'll guarantee going to camera, then clicking go live but it doesn't really matter if you go live or if you go casting casting basically makes it so then it just automatically goes to the computer live stream you connect your um youtube channel so like it shows the chat up there and you actually have to do it while the live stream's going so like put like a coming like uh put like a starting soon and then like click go live and connect it and then once you're done connecting it so like you're back and like it shows the oculus screen because the oculus connected to the um website and then it's stuff like that. You can like see like if you move the Oculus, stuff like that will happen. It will like track your game. If you want smoother stuff, I'll probably show you guys the um, tutorial later in a different video. But once you're done with that, you can add your stuff like little plus sign, click like text, same like, I don't know, like the new code will be like code equals, I don't know, like, sorry about the lagging. Background's a little weird right now. Um, but the code will equal like, I don't know, like, game, something like that. Click OK, make it any size you want, make sure it fits in, 
And also, your thing won't look like this. So if you want it to be like live stream like shorts, all you gotta do is go over to the settings, go over to the video, and make sure the um, base canvas is 1080 by 1920, and the output is scaled is 360 by 640. And now make it so that it will be like this. So if you are confused why it's like long form, then that's why. But if you want to like live stream on shorts, then that's why. So yeah, that's how you live stream on the VR. And it's actually quite simple. It might be a little complicated just to first get in because you need to log into everything like that. But then once you do it the second time, it should be really simple because everything should stay there. And if you guys want more tips like how to get like your live stream countdown on your screen, then subscribe and like and uh, comment down if you want that part too. Bye!